Okay, I'm glad to be with you today and sorry that a date conflict made it a virtual presence. Were I here in the flesh, you would probably start individual conversations by saying, how are you? Well, let me tell you. I'll answer that question for you. I'm just fine. Uh, thanks to some pretty good engineering, a, uh, an artificial knee and a real nifty hearing aid. Real good engineering stuff. I'm led to believe that we're going to have a scholarship in my name, and I'm delighted at this. I really genuinely moved when, you, uh, when I heard that and wish to thank everybody, whoever was behind this, for that great honor. I'm really delighted with it. It's a neat idea. In thinking about what I might say in the circumstances, we've come a long way since I was the wet behind the ears new dean of the uh, newest engineering faculty in Canada. It's a long time. The youngest faculty and the youngest dean. I was lucky to be in the right place at the right time and to be supported by a small number of really eager new faculty members who were happy to uh, join me and embark on, a building, on building a great program in engineering and a great institution. And we succeeded because some of you alumni were willing to gamble on being enrolled in this untried new engineering program. In the early years, this Jack, and some of you guys called me Jack in class, was a Jack of all trades. At one time or another, I taught modern physics, when that was still part of the engineering curriculum, engineering drawing, descriptive geometry, statics and dynamics, strength of materials. And after I retired as vice rector, I came back at Swami's request to teach technical writing, which was a, a complete departure from anything I'd ever done before. And that reminds me that I've now been retired almost as long as the 30 years that I worked at the university. It's a long time. Some of the original professors are still attached to the institution in one way or another, actively in some cases, and like me, through the pension fund in others. And uh, I won't risk naming names, but each of you will have your own list of people involved, I'm sure. Other faculty members have left, sometimes under sad circumstances, and we remember them. There have been many firsts in engineering at, at Concordia, Sir George, when we moved out of the makeshift facilities into the hall building, we were acknowledged to have the very best labs in all of Canada, and that was a first. We were the first to go through the new Canadian engineering accreditation program for engineering programs. We were the, the guinea pigs in that process, and we came through with flying colors, and of course that was a, a pleasure to those of us that were around. We were the first faculty at Sir George uh, to uh, uh, get approval for graduate programs and to grant the first doctorate at Sir George. It was a, an interesting situation in those days. But enough nostalgia. Enjoy the reunion. I hope to be with you in the flesh next year.